this was a question that I was asked on on all platforms. If you don't know me, my name is Derek and I am a world traveler teaching you guys about how to redesign your life, how you live through travel content. Now, I'm not normally a fan of making videos like this because it's very controversial, but the best way to understand your audience is the language that they're speaking in the comments. And this was something that I was asked a lot. When I think about it, I was actually asked this multiple different times in the various Latin American countries that I went to, but it was more of like a warning. I was told many times on my travels before I got to Argentina that I should be wary, I should be careful, I'm gonna receive lots of racism, but I never really paid close attention to it until now. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit. I'm gonna give my insight on the racism that I felt in Argentina. I'm also going to give a local's perspective on the racism in Argentina, give my final thoughts, and truly understand that is so widely spoken of in various parts of the world. And let me just say for the record, this video was not designed to attack any group of people. This is only my video response to the question of if I felt racism in Argentina or not. So let's begin. A little context about Argentina. Argentina is the farthest part of the South American continent, which makes it the second biggest country in South America. It's surrounded by Chile, Bolivia, Paraguay. But what makes Argentina so different? It's colonial history. You see, unlike Brazil, Chile, Paraguay, Colombia, Argentina has some Italian ancestry. Argentina has some strong ties to Europe. Now, this is not like a history class or anything. I'm not a history buff or anything like that. I'm strictly travel, but I did some research before I went to this country. I spent one month in this country. I was in Buenos Aires, I was in Cordoba, and I was in Mendoza. Obviously, I'm back now, and I wanna give my thoughts on this topic in particular because it's very important to talk about racism, right? So going back, I remember when I was in Colombia, they told me they don't like the Argentinian. I asked them why. They told me because they can't cook. <laughs> don't hate me, I'm just a messenger. That's just what they told me. All right, when I was in Mexico, there's a lot of Argentinians in Mexico too. And I asked them, how come the Mexicans don't like the Argentinians in the area? They said because the Argentinians have a very superior complex. You know, colorism is a huge thing and anti-blackness is universal all around the world. The Mexicans said that they come in and they feel like they're better because they have fairer skin. They have bluer eyes. They have blonder hair than the Mexicans. And I can truly understand that. But where does that superior complex come from? When I was in Peru, they said the same thing they don't like the Argentinians for whatever reason. And I said, is this just like nobody likes them or is it just you don't like them? They're saying nobody likes them because they act as if they're better. So I kind of want to understand why everybody's saying that about this particular group in South America. <coughs> so I found this website online and did some research trying to understand like the region, the, the people, the relationship within Argentina. And I found this website called Britannica. It's pretty good. This is what I found. Heavy immigration, particularly from Spain and Italy, has produced in Argentina a people who are almost all of European ancestry. Amongst these were the Diaguaida of the Andean Northwest, a town dwelling agricultural people who were forced into labor after they were conquered. They were divided by the Spanish into small groups and were sent to the work in Peru and in Rio de la Plata, in the Mesopotamian region, and a semi-agricultural Guarani also were forced into labor. The Italian influence in Argentine culture became the most important of any immigrant group. And Italian is still widely spoken in Buenos Aires. Other major foreign influences have come from Spanish and Polish immigrants. Smaller groups have also made notable contributions. However, British capital and management in particular built railroads and created meat processing industries, you know, like the Asado. The British also left a relatively small but influential community. The children of immigrants were quick to identify themselves as Argentines so the people were not divided into antagonistic ethnic groups. But Argentine society developed a serious division between the rural interior and the urban coast. Many rural people grew up to resent the wealth, political power, and cultural affectations of the Portinos, the people of the port. In Buenos Aires, 
region and many Portinos looked upon residents of the interior as ignorant peasants. The division became deeply rooted in the politics of the country. Now with that being said, you can see that there's relationships to Europe. Tinians have a distinct relationship between Spain and Italy. So they're not just typical South American uh, natives, there is some history between the colonial relationship within the country and other neighboring countries as well. So the coolest thing that I understood about Argentina is that they're very European and that also reflects in the city of Buenos Aires. You can see it everywhere in the architecture, the food, their culture, their mannerisms, and also the way they look. But that still doesn't explain why they're superior as far as mannerism, allegedly, right? Now, let me give my input on how I felt in Argentina. So, I was in Argentina for one month. I was in Buenos Aires for two days, then I went to Cordoba for a couple weeks, and then I went to Mendoza for, a couple, for one week, and then I came back to Buenos Aires for another day, and I left. Unfortunately, I did not feel any racism in this country, and I'm not saying that it's not there, I'm just saying that as a tourist, I only came in for a month versus someone actually living there and experiencing racism. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm actually happy that I didn't feel, I didn't have any problems traveling through Argentina. I actually really liked the country. I would definitely love to come back and explore the deeper south of Argentina, which is called Patagonia. And if you've never heard of it, there's a saying about it, it's the beginning and the end of the world, depending on like how you start your travel. There's penguins here and I would love to come back and check it out and show you guys a cool perspective on this part of Argentina. But moving on, uh, like I said, I didn't receive any racism because I was only there for just a short period of time. Maybe if I was living there, growing up, born and raised in Argentina, it would be a different thing. But I do have a friend that I made there. She's a lawyer and she was willing enough to give me like a small phone interview on her upbringing in this country. And she's going to now give us her perspective on racism in Argentina. This is Bella. Hi, okay, I will try. Um, in Argentina, it is often said that we are facing racism, racism, racism when there is hate speech towards ethnic groups or the national origin, origin uh, of people. For example, people of Bolivia are constantly discriminated here. Sometimes the word Bolivian is even used as an insult. Currently, the people, the problem of races is seen with the native peoples. At uh, this time, there are four women from a Puchi community in prison. They were mistreated for defending their land. So double discrimination by race and by gender. Um, what can I say? What else? I think that Argentine society is so racist that it doesn't even realize it's racist. I told her to elaborate a little bit more on what she said about Argentinians are so racist that they don't even realize they're racist. And she said, it means that racism is naturalized. It appears in the language without any kind of self-criticism. The term black is used to refer to the most humble and presumably dangerous people. There is a primary discrimination using the word black translated from the North American pejorative use to people who are not of another race in order to differentiate them and assign them negative standard just because they are poor and conform subcultures. During my trip, I didn't meet any Afro-Argentinians. I didn't meet them. I don't know where they were. I wasn't looking for them either. The only thing I would say, I wish I could get a personal interview with one of them to kind of tell me what is their upbringing in this part of the world. Because like I said, my experience as a tourist is going to be different from a local's experience living in this country. Is there racism in Argentina for Afro-Argentinians? Do they discriminate? Do they look different, frown upon for being different? Are they not considered Argentinian because of their color of their skin? Because they don't have the fair look? Because they don't have green eyes and brown hair? 
a lot of different things. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope this uh, enlightened your vision on this part of the world. If you like what you saw and you wanna see more, definitely like to help get this video pushed. Share to your friends for more collective conversation. Maybe ask someone, hey, have you felt racism in Argentina? And let's talk about it on this channel, guys. My name is Derek. This is Paint Your Lifestyle. And I'll see you on my next video, guys. Take it easy.